hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to share my experience of vitamin d deficiencies this is the follow-up video of the video i've uploaded almost one year ago so i will reply all those comments there are a lot of comments out there so i will read every comment try to address every comments and okay so yeah let's start the video so and i will share my experiences after taking those vitamin d supplements and especially i will reply to those comments so this is the video that i have uploaded one year ago so i will reply to this okay so the first comment was did you feel neck stiffness while driving so especially the the answer is that neck neck stiffness is like i was having the muscle pain like right here especially if i do the uh, stressful activities uh, like examination something like that very stressful time i would have this pain and if i took rest for like 10 20 like three minutes or sleep like this and it's gone so i just like the muscle is starving starving for the rest so i would feel that okay so the next next is i thank you for sharing your experience my symptoms were very similar to your had a level of 10 in mg per ml L in july june so i started taking 2000 units for three months and slowly i got 90 in september finally had my energy back so stopped taking the supplementation and now it's been two months since i stopped and i'm starting to have the same symptoms so yes the main problem with the vitamin d is like it drops so fast and it rise so fast like in my case okay so i'll share that experience when i uh, first diagnosed like it was nine okay and it was in the uh, during the summer time so during the summer time it was nine so imagine what would uh, have been in winter so so during the summer time it was nine and uh, i took the supplementation for six weeks 60,000 I use per week for six weeks and uh, got 125 ng per m young so which was huge and uh, which was toxic level in fact and I stopped taking the supplementation and uh, uh, check the vitamin D levels again and it was 25 just 25 so yeah within three months i lose 100 ng per ml so it was a very rapid drop okay so it's actually not good for your body so uh, i would recommend like don't take high doses like in fact it's better to you know maintain the vitamin d level at the same range uh, so this is my recommendation so yeah that was my experience like it felt so rapidly okay yeah same as you okay thank you so much for your comments hope you see the video rafa high tech the name is like that so the next comment i'm going to read andrew so i hope the name i spelled the name correct so sorry if i made the mistakes uh, same symptoms were there for me heart racing palpitation dizziness fatigue etc i did my own research okay and start taking the vitamin d uh, 5000 i use uh, 100 mcg vitamin k2 zinc 25 mg every day till now i take magnesium twice uh, 100 400 mg twice a week my symptoms faded completely after I started taking these in three months. Nutritional vitamin B is three times a week. So yeah. In fact, uh, yeah. 
लाइक इज टेकिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ सप्लीमेंटेशन एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ डाइट सो या वट्स लाइक वट आई फील इज लाइक इफ यू टेक लाइक यू नो एवरी एवरी लाइक इज टेकिंग लाइक वाइटमिन के टू जिंक एंड डी एंड मैग्नीजियम सो दीज आर दी यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट वाइटमिन एंड द मिनरल्स दैट हेल्प्स यू बॉडी टू फाइट विद द इन्फ्लामेशन एंड and if you lower the inflammation and obviously you you going to stay healthy you going to feel better so these are the very important vitamins and the minerals that will help your body fight the inflammation better and react to the um, you know the what we call that diseases better you know a good uh, metabolism uh, all those things okay so yeah uh, is taking those and i hope he is doing well thank you for the comment what was the value of d in your blood when you first check okay there was 9 i have already told this okay and after it was 125 uh, for after uh, taking uh, for 6 weeks and uh, when i stopped taking those it was again uh, 25 uh, within 3 months i was 100 uh, ng per ml okay that was my experience thank you so much for your comment thank you for sharing thank you uh, okay so it's a new comment or question yes or no have you completely recovered so i i would say this is not the recovery like i don't know why i'm having this vitamin d deficiency like i guess i have the inflammation a lot of inflammation in the body and the like this is my own assumption okay don't uh, take this seriously so no doctor told me so i have not checked this so yeah i feel like uh, i have inflammation in my body so I, i had some serious diseases before so digestive disease so that's why maybe uh, or something i don't know why but uh, i just i i can say that i have a lot of inflammation i i feel like i have a, inflammation in my body so okay uh, no i have not healed i i take the vitamin d still um, but in a very 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 few like dose okay not high so not to rise just to maintain okay so i hope you understand Wha- was your heart racing uh, minimal with a uh, like yeah i don't know why but uh, previously like not only the vitamin d like yeah vitamin d can help uh, you know like a lot of changes after vitamin d i, I took the vitamin d uh, like heart racing problem you can do better but yeah you have to have the uh, good diet along with the vitamin d so uh, you, you there is a high chance that you are not only deficient in the vitamin d so there are a lot of things that you might be deficient as well so there might be inflammation in your body as well so you can uh, like okay for, for heart racing like yeah it can help like it helped for me like i don't know why but it reduced the belly fat for me like as it was a fat soluble vitamin so i guess that was the reason but it reduced my belly fat okay significantly that i could notice okay so light weight and obviously good for heart so yeah i think okay i cannot say like uh, the heart racing yeah it's good okay it's improved thank you you is to helpful thank you so much uh, hope you subscribe keep on thoughts feeling now what's your level still on supplement yeah i think i have answered this as well excellent video oh my god very good english so no man i know my english not good so i just okay a low energy for take dizziness exertion fainting heart pacing sleepy okay that's it i was having the so same okay and some ang- ang- anxiety problem like de- depressive mood yes that's like yeah that was also the main uh, thing like okay english is good okay thank you so much what's your vitamin d level uh, uh, when you were diagnosed i think i have answered 
I feel this video sim. Thank you so much. Uh, digestive issues. Yes. For digestive issues. Like I had like uh, liver cyst. You know. And that. I don't know. Like that was a serious. Like I had some serious time. Then. Like yeah. I would say yes. My digestion is not that good. I can say that. I have level 17 vitamin D. It's showing depressive symptoms. It's hampering my social life a lot. Kindly tell me what supplements should be taken. Okay, I don't like know what actually are you facing, but I can say that like depressive symptoms, like it can be somewhat related to vitamin D. So you can check your vitamin D take this supplement but not only that you have to have the good proper diet diet okay so that kind of things mine is 13 stay hard thank you so much and hope you get better a good life hope you like get a good amount of sun like for me like sunlight cannot I like did not like improved my vitamin D levels okay I think like I was pretty much outside you know of home a lot of time so i don't know why i had the low okay i took the vitamin d okay thank you so much for the comments everyone okay some k2 and magnesium supplements i don't know how can i saw suggest to you guys i don't know man i'm just like you i cannot suggest okay same i feel like i'm 90 yeah 